No fucking way, a gem box, bitch. What's up guys, my name is Cole and welcome back to another super original let's play. So you guys were probably expecting a gemming to max video today, but that's a lot of gems and I just want to buy a little bit to help speed up my upgrades because as you can see right here, we are really close to finishing off our Dark Elixir drill as well as our spell factory and I really want to clean up my base because it is so messy. I'm like, oh my god, look at all these trays and look at these bushes. Oh my god, we just got so much stuff all over. <gasps> no fucking way, a gem box, bitch. But yeah, so we're probably going to clear that up and get our bitches to do that. So I'm going to go ahead and purchase some gems and I will be back in a second. All right, you guys, look, it worked. Payment successful. Gems received. Yeah. All right, you guys, so we have $10 worth of gems right here, and that's going to give us a little bit of... 1,268, one more gem, and we could have 1,269, obviously a very, very good number with that one. Well, let's start off with clearing up this, never mind, never mind, I totally forgot that we had to finish up some of these upgrades, so let's go ahead and finish that really quick, quit, quist? What the fuck, what the fuck am I talking about? Let's finish that really quick, God, where did I learn to talk like? I don't even know what I'm going with this, but anyways, let's finish that up. Wow, we are level 86. I think that actually costs 86 gems, so it's kind of funny how that works out. And we also have our spell factory, which has caused us a lot of issues uh, in wars, in battles. I love having spells, and I really want that jump spell. So let's go ahead and 300 gems, just like the movie. Have you guys seen the new 300? What is it called? Like 300 Rise of an Empire or something like that. I have yet to see it, but I heard some good things about it. So I might do that. So we're going to go clear up our bushes, because it's always nice to do that. And these guys are absolute idiots. I mean, what are they doing? They are trying to get rid of a bush with a hammer. I mean, obviously these guys are not the brightest bulbs in the park or wherever else, but then again, they also do stupid stuff like uh, upgrading elixir storages with hammers too. Uh, considering that the whole thing is freaking made of glass, basically, it's probably not the best idea, but whatever, that is okay. So let's go ahead and clear up the rest of this stuff. Um, and in the meantime, let's go and check out our army we are going to be attacking with today. So, as you look over here, we have cooked up a lot of wizards and some giants. And the reason I have those giants is they are basically going to act as a mate shield for those wizards. Because when we got our wizards, we can't have them being taken out by all those defensive structures. So, oh, that, I mean, that spell factory looks so dope. Look at it. I love the spikes. Uh, it's kind of weird how when you upgrade stuff, it always gets spikes, and, um, yeah, what else was I going to say? Uh, we can go ahead and collect our war loot, because we did win our last war. Let's go ahead and check on that. 99 to 72, no problem for lethal looters. Again, pulling out the victory with, look at that attacks one, perfect 69 attacks one. A very precise attack mode, and, yeah, so let's go ahead and collect that. We got... I don't know how much we got there, but we're getting close to what we need in gold. I'm going to try and raid for one of these wizard towers, and that's going to be 5.36 million in loot and 7 days upgrade time. So we could either spend some gems on that, or we could go and find that in a raid, but I'd rather raid it because, honestly, the gem to gold ratio in this game is absolutely shit, so we don't want that. Uh, let's go ahead and clear up our gem box and that trunk, get our bitches on that, see what she's doing. Yep, you clap on that, Stacy. And we got Fred over here clean up our gem box. And we got Dave. Uh, I don't know where Steve is. Where's Steve? All right, Steve over here and Jeremy. Steve and Jeremy are working on those expos. And where is uh, Tommy? All right, Tommy. Tommy's working on the wizard tower. We'll deal with him later. But in the meantime, you guys, I think I'm going to go ahead and find a raid. And I will see you guys in a sec. Crikey, mate, look at the loot on this guy. Okay, you guys, so finally after searching, we found a match. And uh, this one is looking pretty good by the looks of it. I mean, he has quite a lot of loot, and I know this is definitely going to piss him off when he comes back to his base and realizes that all his beautiful loot is gone. So I am so sorry. Uh, oh, never mind. I'm not sorry. This guy's a faggot. 
I mean, he actually is Faggot. That's his name. I'm not just being mean. Like, he literally is a Faggot. So, we are going to be attacking Faggot, and we're going to be using some Wizards and Giants. And before this battle starts, I'm going to go ahead and plop one Giant down there. Check for those Clan Castle reinforcements. Look at that. He had a Dragon. That would have messed up our raid. But lucky for us, we are smart. And we're going to go ahead and bring that Dragoon up to the top and annihilate him with our Wizards. And come on, you guys, a little bit faster, a little bit faster. All right, bring him up to the top, and here we go. Drop one wizard there. And in the meantime, that should give us just enough time. We'll just drop maybe three or four. All right, you guys, start firing on that annoying dragon. Almost gone, almost gone, and you're gone. All right, so we pulled some Harry Potter shit over there, and now we're moving into the base. So let's go ahead and drop a lot of our giants followed up by our wizards these guys are basically the big meat shield for us I mean I just love wizards they are so good they're so powerful and they have quite a lot of health for what they are um, the only downside to them is they do take a sec to train but honestly we don't care because we are awesome and we can boost our barracks and we also are patient so we can wait we're not one of those impatient little bastards so, looks like our wizards are making their way through the base. We already lost pretty much all our giants. I just really, I don't really care about elixir to be honest because our swords are already full. So, I'm going to go ahead and drop the rest of our wizards right there and hopefully pick up the rest of that gold. I don't want that annoying archer tower to shoot its little bow and arrows down on my wizards. And as you see right there, it is a wizard frenzy, a wizard tower, a wizard, and our barbarian king. I think we already activated, yeah, we already activated his ability. He goes down two stars for Coulson, and we can end the battle happily. Coming away with some pretty sweet loot. 250,000 in gold. Elixir doesn't matter because we are already full, but 22 trophies is pretty good for me. Thank you so much, faggot. I appreciate it very much. I'm sorry to hear about your name, but... That's a little bit unfortunate. So as you look here, our elixir storages are full and our gold are pretty much overflowing. So why don't we go ahead and spend some stuff on that before, uh, let's see, what do we want to upgrade? Uh, so we don't have enough gold for our wizard tower, unfortunately. So how much is that going to cost a gem? YOLO, let's do it. 320, 10 away from, uh, no, it's not 10, 4, uh, I, uh, blah, 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 doesn't matter. Another wizard tower being upgraded right there, and we have so much elixir. I don't even know what I want to spend it on. Uh, I'm kind of looking around the base, seeing what I can possibly do with this. Hmm. Hmm, hmm, hmm. Do we want to upgrade? We could upgrade our army camps, but I don't really know uh, how much that's going to benefit us. If we just... I don't really want to upgrade this because it's going to take two days. How long would that take? Shit, I guess... what? Whatever, we're doing for it. So we upgrade our elixir drill again. Um, and I don't want to upgrade that one more time because we don't have enough gems to go through it another time. And I do want to use that boost on it and get as much dark elixir as I possibly can. Uh, I think we do have enough elixir left over for one of our army camps, so that's probably looking like a good buy. I don't really see anything else. We can't upgrade our... Well, we could upgrade our lab, but we already are upgrading our P.E.K.K.A.s, and I don't want to interrupt that. So let's just go ahead and upgrade one of our army camps. I know it's been a while since I burped you guys. Hopefully you guys heard that. It was kind of quiet, but made sure you got that for you. What the hell? Holy shit, that guy's got hops. I'm going to do that in slow-mo replay. Damn, look at him go. All right, but yeah, um, that's uh, that's pretty much it, you guys. I don't really have much else to show you. Um, I think that's going to put a wrap to this episode. If you enjoyed it, please leave a like. I am possibly going to post a... I don't know what I'm going to do tomorrow. I might do level 1 champs. Uh, I'm also considering doing some base builds in the future. But with that being said, you guys have a great day. And as always, people, keep on clashing.